I am a community manager with Covidence, and I've been working with Covidence since about 2015, which is when our uh, sort of soft launch was at the Cochrane Colloquium back in Vienna. Um, so we are part of the Cochrane Toolkit um, and the main screening uh, and extraction tool for Cochrane Reviews, but we also do work with a, a pretty wide range of partners. Uh, so we'll see some things today that are optimized for Cochrane Reviews and some things that um, go a little bit outside of that scope as well. Um, as Yana said, my PhD research is in the adoption of automation uh, for health evidence synthesis. So I'm hoping I'm in my final year of that, and I'm actually quite quite excited to talk to anybody about it if anybody is interested. So um, certainly reach out if any of that research sounds interesting to you. Um, and finally, I'll just say as a community manager, um, uh, most of our job is you know providing webinars like this and answering support queries and troubleshooting for users, but it's also feeding the user voice back into the product development process. So there's no question that is stupid, really. Our, our view is that if something is not obvious in terms of how it should be done, then it's not obvious enough. And getting questions from users always helps to elucidate those weak points in the tool. Uh, so hopefully you should be able to see my slides now. Yes, we can see those. Great, thanks so much, Annalise. And uh, also thank you, of course, for joining around the world. I'm not sure what, what time it is. I think it might be late evening for some of the people joining. So thank you so much for making the time. Uh, so as I said, my name is Annalise. I am a community manager and I am based in Australia. I know I have an American accent, so it always throws people off a little bit, um, but I am Australia based. So um, if you're ever writing into support from an Australasian time zone, I will often be at the other end of that. But we also have multiple staff based in European time zones as well as across North America. Uh, so our agenda for today, first I'll talk a little bit about what Covenants is. Uh, I'll go over the main features of the tool. Some of you may or may not be familiar with those, uh, sort of what you can and can't do and where it fits into the process of a systematic review. Uh, then we're going to go over a relatively new feature of inter-rater reliability. Um, again, it, it's you may or may not have seen it yet, um, but we'll go through what you get if you export um, IRR stata, uh, statistics, and then we'll go over how to do it in the tool with a live demo as well. Um, we'll go through what we've deemed for now <laughs> Extraction 1.0, which is the extraction that you're probably most familiar with how it interacts with RevMan, and then of course common challenges and how to avoid them. Uh, and then we'll, we will look a little bit at Extraction 2.0, which is not recommended for Cochrane Reviews just yet because it doesn't link up with RevMan. Um, but I have heard from some users that they're interested in using it for perhaps some other data extraction points that don't necessarily need to link up with RevMan directly. Um, and also, there's lots in development for when it will be linked up with RevMan, so I think it would be good to start having a look at how Extraction 2.0 works so that when it's ready to be rolled out, um, you all feel a little bit more empowered to start using it. And I'll, I will talk briefly about the Risk of Bias 2 form that is in development for Extraction 2.0, as well as uh, hopefully give you all the opportunity to provide some user feedback to the design process. So a little bit about Covidence. Covidence is an entirely online platform for systematic review production. We're a nonprofit and our visit vision is a world shaped by the best evidence possible. Our mission is to create tools that make systematic reviewing faster, easier, and more enjoyable. So it's all about creating excellent, high quality systematic reviews quickly uh, that don't have to cut any methodological corners and, if anything, increase their methodological robustness, um, even as we're making them faster and faster. And as I said during the intro, we are part of the Cochrane Toolkit. So, like I said, the idea is really to save a lot of time by streamlining your systematic review. So here we see kind of an overview of the systematic reviewer journey in Covidence. You would sign up import your citations into your review, you can complete title and abstract screening, full text screening, data extraction, risk of bias, and then you would export into a different tool in order to complete your meta-analysis. Uh, as I said, we work closely with Cochrane, but also have a lot of other users. Uh, so we are 
shockingly to me, having been with uh, the company quite a long time now, we're at 130,000 users globally with over 200 organizational uh, partnerships and over 110,000 reviews started. So in terms of where this fits into the Cochrane Toolkit, you may or may not have seen this graphic, uh, which goes over the Cochrane Review ecosystem. So what we're looking at for where Covenance fits into this picture is really six, seven, and eight. So selection of studies, collection of your data, and assessing your risk of bias. And it's really aiming to uh, expedite those processes as much as possible so that you can get on to the, the more um, interpretive part of a systematic review process. More time thinking and less time organizing spreadsheets is how I always think of it. 